My research starts at a time when most research stops, which is at the time of death. To explain you exactly what I, what I do, we have to start at a crime scene. So we are now in the living room of him. He has been found dead in exactly this position one hour ago by the police. In these situations of an unclear death, forensic medicine comes into play. It is the task of forensic medicine to determine the time and the cause of death. So the medical doctor here will examine his body and check especially for third party effects. Then the medical doctor will estimate the time of death as nobody knows when he died and as this helps to clear the course of his death. For that, the medical doctor will measure the rectal temperature as the body temperature depends on how long he has been dead. This is because the body temperature starts to cool down after death due to the missing temperature regulation processes in the body. And as this process is similar in all human beings, the time of death can be estimated by temperature with a general model. So, so the time of death can be estimated based on a, a general model. However, it still depends on some individual factors how fast the body temperature cools down, like the body composition or the body weight. And these individual factors limit the time of death estimation. So the medical doctor here will only provide a time window when he died, but not an exact time point. And this time, point, time window is about eight hours long. We aim in our research to reduce the uncertainties of the time of death estimation, so to narrow the time window when he died. And we try to do this based on the fact that the brain temperature estimates the time of death more accurate compared to the rectal temperature. This is because the brain temperature cooling does not depend on individual factors, and so it is more similar in all human beings compared to the rectal temperature. And therefore, a general model is more precise based on the brain temperature than based on the rectal temperature. Nevertheless, as you can imagine, it is quite the brain temperature. But we found out that the brain temperature can be determined based on the forehead skin temperature as the brain temperature cools down via the forehead skin. So we aim to revolutionize the time of death estimation by using the forehead skin temperature instead of the rectal temperature. So the medical doctor in the future will hopefully measure the forehead skin instead of the rectal temperature to estimate the time window when he died. So my research starts at the time when most research stops, but revolutionizing the time of death is of high relevance. Thank you.